Hello, everybody. My name is Rick Horn. I'm the pastor of the Full Gospel Tabernacle. I've got my little nephew, Joe David Marbley, with me uh, tonight. I want to say how much we appreciate this station and Sister Margaret and all of you folks out there that support this station. If it wasn't for this station, there are so many people that wouldn't get to hear the gospel of Jesus Christ, the nursing homes, the hospitals, people that are shut in at their homes. Not only just them, there's a lot of people that don't ever go to church, and this station reaches them. So many souls we, we sang here tonight, and there was over five souls, around five souls that got saved or six. And we just thank the Lord for this station and Sister Margaret. God bless you. Good evening and welcome to our program tonight from the WOJC studios in Beattyville, Kentucky. We hope that you have your work caught up so you can just kind of rest and enjoy the music and the service. And we're going to do our best to tell you something about the Lord to refresh your memory or bring you some good news that you maybe you haven't heard lately and something that will make your day better than what it's been. And so we have good singing and phone operators. Dottie has Brother Cecil and others up there to help with the phones. And so uh, if you need to call, feel free to do so. We have a uh, praise report to start with, uh, uh, talking about prayer. A lady from Pulaski County called today and wanted to thank Dottie and everybody that had been praying for her because she had surgery today for cancer and it was not nearly as bad as the doctors had thought. She came through the surgery fine, so they called to say thanks. And that's what we should do. If we ask God for something, then we should have, give him the courtesy of thanking him also in public. That's only, only fair. All right, we want to <coughs> share some scriptures with you. In um, Isaiah <coughs> 55, starting with the sixth verse, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord. And he will have mercy upon him and to our God. For he will abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are my ways your ways, saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than yours, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain cometh down, and the snow from heaven, and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth, and maketh it bring forth uh, a bud, that it may give seed to the sower, and bread to the eater. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing unto I have sent it. For ye shall go out with joy, and be led after with peace. The mountains and the hills shall break forth before you with singing, and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Instead of the uh, thorn shall come up the fire tree, and instead of the briar shall come up the myrtle tree, and it shall be to the Lord, for a name, for an everlasting sign that shall not be cut off. That is in Isaiah 55, 6 through 13. The Lord saying that his word would not return a void. So, you know, uh, that's why we share it. And, he, and aren't we glad that his ways are not like our ways? We'd be in trouble if the Lord wasn't uh, better than us, wouldn't we? Because some days when you're feeling bad, by then you, we make bad decisions. We're grumpy and hateful and everything like that. But, you know, the Lord's not like that. And aren't we glad? And he, His ways are much higher than our ways. So there's much to be thankful for tonight. And so uh, if you want to re read this in your own Bible, it's Isaiah 55, 6 through 13. All right. We, we uh, want to... Uh, agree in prayer for 
the ones that will be viewing tonight. And we have a, a special prayer request from a little boy up in Carter County. Now this is a, a little eight-year-old boy. My granddaughter has uh, babysat for this child uh, for a long time. Real sweet, lovable little child. He's the same age of one of her children. And uh, uh, Braden, he's eight years old, and uh, he's in the hospital right now, very, very ill. And because um, he was having a lot of stomach problems and in a lot of pain, and still is. And when they <clears throat> did a scope on him, they found he had a bleeding ulcer because it had to give him several units of blood already and could not find what was happening with it, but he was bleeding. And so he, uh, he has a single mom, and that's all the family he has, but he really needs a touch from the Lord tonight, and so does his mom. And uh, my granddaughter that kept him for so long, uh, she was really concerned about him, and he's, he's in the hospital tonight, a little eight-year-old with bleeding ulcers. So, you know, that's, uh, that's something that the Lord could easily take care of, but we need to pray for his mom and uh, for this little boy to really come to know. He used to go to church with my granddaughter, so he knows about the Lord, so he needs to have all of that taken care of. So let's pray, and we know that's just one of many that uh, we'll be hearing about tonight, uh, sick people, and and all we need to pray for all those people that have lost loved ones in this uh, five or six states that that tornado has come through, and we also need to pray that it will <clears throat> that it will just uh, the storms will change and it will just disappear and not hit any place else and do so much damage. And you know, uh, God is still on His throne and He still answers prayer today. So we'll pray for this and those families that that uh, lost loved ones down there. All right, let's uh, ask the Lord's blessing on the service. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for this scripture, and we thank you for the assurance that you said that as your word goes forth, that it will not return to you void. And so, Lord, as we've tried to reassure the people of your love for them, we know that uh, that is from your word, that you're not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. And so... Father, tonight we thank you because we know that the gospel is being preached in a lot of places, a lot of churches. We just heard a good salvation report uh, right before we went on the air. One of the workers here, uh, someone really close to him, had gotten saved at church. And we thank you for the gospel that is going out from these different pulpits and these different areas. And we know it's doing the work that you have ordained it to do. So bless them, Lord. Bless each one. And all the folk that are in this storm damage, have mercy, Lord, and deliver and spare any more damage from, from these winds. Let the winds just quieten down. Bless our singers and the phone operators and those that will be calling. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, you know, if you're on our mailing list and receive our little newsletter each month, we have a page in there that lists who is supposed to be uh, on each night, and uh, that uh, is the way it goes. And then uh, sometimes things change. Sometimes there's a sickness, and now like the group that was uh, had the name was down for tonight, they had a death in the family, and so uh, we had to try to find somebody on the spur of the moment, and that's a little hard to do, but uh, we, uh, we remembered. These people, we, we've seen them recently, and so we, we remembered them. <laughs> now, they worked so hard during Telethon Revival. I didn't know if they'd come back tonight or not, but they did. Uh, the Hamptons, and so we're happy that they graciously came tonight to uh, sing for us, and so you pray for them and enjoy them. The Hampton family from Jeremiah, Kentucky, they do have CDs, and also Mike that's with them, he has uh, separate CDs. And so the number, 606-633-2931. So let's go over right now and welcome the Hampton family. For many years, God took burnt offerings on an altar made of stone. Every year, 
the blood of a spotless lamb was shed for sins that don't. It only lasted for a little while. Another sacrifice was made. Another lamb would have to die for sins that to be marked paid. Let me point you to a hillside just outside the city gate. There's a great crowd that is gathered, a crucifixion mob away. Lamb of God died on the old cross, shed his blood, and now I'm saved. For was the Lamb of God that hath prevailed over death, hell, and the grave? Let me point you to the Lamb that was slain on you and me. He is the line of the tribe of Judah. David the Almighty is the one that is so worthy. He is the great I am. Soon we'll cast our crown before him to sing a song about the Lamb. Holy, 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 he is the great I am. Soon we'll cast our crown before him to sing a song about the Lamb. We're glad to be back tonight, and uh, we're not too worn out from the telethon. That was a few weeks back. But we do want to say we're thankful that all of you called in and made your pledges, and we trust that all of you have mailed them in, because that's what keeps this station coming to you, is your pledges, your offerings, what you send in. And it does take money to keep it on the air. So we do appreciate all of you that called in, all of you that watched. And uh, we hope you'll enjoy the program tonight and that uh, we'll sing something that you all want to hear. What have you got, Mike? It's good to be back. Uh, I'd like to send this out to uh, Miss Helen Bates, Lisa, Dexter, all the family. They lost uh, a loved one that uh, when you do that, it touches your heart. And memories are so precious, that's all we have left. I'm kind of homesick for a country to which I've never been before. No sad goodbyes will spoken for time won't matter anymore Beulah land I'm longing for you and someday on the I'll stand there might And then I'll take my heavenly flight. Beulah land, I'm longing for you. And someday on the I'll stand there my
sweep you a land. My loved ones now are waiting for me. I can see their robes of white, the sweetest smiles upon their faces. That's where my Savior is the light. Beautiful land, I'm longing for you. And someday on the I'll stand. This song is entitled, I Prayed For You, and it's in G sharp.
night uh, from my dead sleep, God woke me up and uh, had me pray for somebody. And nothing happened, but you, I, you never know what may have been prevented by you taking the time to pray for somebody. And that's unusual for me because I sleep like a log when I go to sleep. But when God got in the range with me, said, it wasn't over. I couldn't go back to sleep till I did what he wanted. So hopefully, it, it, I, well, I know it did accomplish exactly what he uh, wanted it to do. Mother's Day is coming up here, so we're going to sing a song. It's uh, called A Christian Man, but it's uh, really and truly about a, uh, a mother. And uh, we was down in London the other day and eating at Golden Corral. Can't hardly pass that place up at all. And this, uh, people come in there and they recognize us. And they want just, uh, they was in there with their mother having her 87th birthday. And so after we eat, we went back and spent some time with them and talked to them. Such a joy to meet people that love the Lord and, and love this station. And that's, they watch it every night. So tonight, if you're watching tonight, the whole program we're going to send out to you. I don't even remember what their names was now, but it don't matter. God knows who they are. And we meet so many people that watch this station. We may never see them again. They may never ever call in here. But just to know that they're out there, that's, that's a big, it's a, it gives you a little in, a reason to go on and continue working for the Lord. I recall the days when you were there behold me. I recall the times when you were by my side. Telling me to hold my head up and be stronger. For when Jesus comes, we'll all live a better life. You read the stories from the Bible word for word. Little nighttime story of revelation and love. As I fell asleep, I heard your sweet voice singing in the silence of the night. I felt your touch. Dear God, I thank you for the mama you gave me. Her inspiration made me who I am. Living for Jesus, that Christ Almighty, helps me to be a better Christian man. Every night as I lay down to sleep, I smile, cause I know that I can see you every time I close my eyes. As I fold my hands in prayer, I know you'll be with me. Helping me to be a better Christian man in God's eyes. Dear God, I thank you for the mama you gave me. Her inspiration made me who I am. Living for Jesus, that Christ Almighty. Help me to be a better Christian man. Living for Jesus, that Christ Almighty, help me to be a better Christian man. And that's so true. Uh, our mothers, I'm sure most of us had praying mothers that prayed for us. And uh, Richard will tell you that when he was in Vietnam, the, he felt like the prayers of his mother is what kept him safe and brought him home. So there is power in prayer. Mike? I'd like to send this song out to Nancy and Ernie Campbell, the guy that I work with. There was a king, he got a letter from a mighty army without number. He spread it out for the Lord to take a view. God sent a promise, just one angel. The devil's army met its doom. It's just amazing what a prayer. 
can do. It's move mountains, parted rivers, brought the dead to life again. I called upon a young prayer warrior a time or two. If you're in trouble, then I'll go down on my What a prayer can do. I see a mama, a little baby. It's fought for life the whole night through. Seemed all hope was gone. The tears fell, but not just a few. But there's old grandpa. Over in the corner, he knew the one who'd pull it through. That baby's still alive to prove what a prayer can do. It's moved mountains, parted rivers, brought the dead to life again. I called upon. If you're in trouble, then I'll go down on my bended knees for you. It's just amazing what a prayer can do. If you're in trouble, then I'll go down on my What a prayer can do. Okay, this next one is entitled Before the Roses Bloom Again. And the song is true. We may be walking the streets of glory before the roses bloom again. It's a Betty Jean Robinson song that I've always loved the words in this song. When the leaves begin to fall And the birds start flying south Nature sighs her gentle whisper Summer's gone When I see the scarlet roses Drop their petals to the ground I get a feeling deep inside me to go home Before the roses bloom again We may be walking the streets of glory For it seems brings us closer to the end. When I see the flowers fade, a gentle thought reminds me we may be home before the I see God's little creatures storing up their winter's food. And I see his children star to gather in. Seems I hear a distant call. This could be the last no fall. We may be home before 
for the roses bloom again. Before the roses bloom again, we may be walking the streets of glory. For each season brings us closer to the end. When I see the flowers fade, a gentle thought reminds me we may be home before the roses bloom again. We may be home before the roses bloom again. Y'all have to excuse us. Our allergies and things have acted up horribly this year, but it's not just us. I think it has for everybody. And... Uh, so it's a little bit difficult sometimes to get all the way through a song without having to cough or clear your throat or something. Uh, Richard's going to sing By the Marks. You know, like I've said before, I've never seen Jesus face to face. I've heard his voice speak ever so gently. But I have no doubts when I get to heaven, I'll know exactly who he is. We'll know him by the marks, I believe, in his hands. I've heard people say the only man-made thing in heaven is the marks in Jesus' hands and feet, and I believe that's true. Because Revelation says as it looks upon the Lamb as it was slain, so we'll know who he is. When I cross over this time just waiting for the master to come <laughs> we'll try it okay why oh why does the wind blow so lonesome why oh why do the 
birds sing so low. Why, oh, why do the mountains and the rocks sigh? They're waiting for the master to come. Just waiting for the master to come. Why, oh, why do the rocks and the mountains sigh? Why, oh, why do the weeping willows cry? Why, oh, why are our days being shortened? They're waiting for the master to come. Just waiting for the master to come. Why, oh, why have our people got so wicked? Why, oh, why is there so much sin and pain? Why, oh, why are the times so fearful? They're waiting for, for the, the master, master to come. come. Just, Just waiting, waiting for, for our master to come. come. They're waiting for, for the master to come. come. Just, Just waiting, waiting for, for the master to come. And that's so true. That's we're all waiting for the master to come, aren't we? We're looking forward to that day. This one's in C sharp, Mike. You do play before no. I sing that one. No. <laughs> I think he's forgot here. You may have. I see, I can't start it. Oh, you're on. I thought you were doing this one. Oh, we got, no. She's just singing one. I'm playing another one. I guess that's why you was just strumming it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh. Okay, this one's entitled, I Want Us to Be Together in Heaven. And and I love that song that someone sang during the telethon. I want to stroll over heaven with you. I think that's a beautiful song, too. You may have a fancy car, brand new. And I still it. missed it, yeah. so. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, I guess getting started on the wrong song, so. Uh, you want, just strum it and I'll do the one you started. Okay. I started out to walk in the light shining upon me from heaven so bright. I bade this world and its folly Lord, I started in Jesus, and I'm going through. I'm going through, yes, I'm going through. I'll pay the price, whatever others do. I'll take this way. started in Jesus and I Despise few, 
we finally got straightened out. That's all right. Everybody makes mistakes. We went and seen this thing in Cooks one time, and Jeanette started one three times before she got it right. <laughs> that happens. But we're missing two tonight. They was working and couldn't be with us uh, on a short notice. But, uh, you know, we come. I told Joyce, I said, we'll go if it's just me and you. So uh, we're here tonight and uh, glad to be here and thankful that the uh, that we can help wherever we can. I'm going to sing another song, mother, Mother's song here because mo Mother's prayers are not in vain. One night I came home I'd been drinking and gambling I heard a low voice Down by the well It was my dear mom She was praying to Jesus To save her dear boy from a drunkard's hell And I staggered over And I fell down beside her My poor aching heart Was burning with shame I said, Mama, don't cry Cause you know I'm not worthy and I fear that your prayer will all be in vain. Then Mama took sick, and while she was dying, I held her hand while I stood by her bed. She said, darling, be good. Meet me in heaven That was the last word My dear mama said But I kept right on Drinking and gambling Living a life That was so full of sin and many times, while down in the gutter, my mother's prayers were answered again. About ten years ago, I came to an altar. My mother's face. Dear Lord, you know I'm not worthy. Have mercy upon a sinner like me. With a vision of Mama, rejoicing in heaven, the Lord came down. My poor soul. Now, Mama, I know she's waiting up yonder and she's watching for me on that heavenly train. My ticket was bought by Jesus on Calvary. And my mama's prayer were not in vain. All right, thank you for that song, and that is so true. Our prayers are not in vain. We will be having a, a special Mother's Day greeting from a mother uh, the entire week before Mother's Day, so... Um, and it'll also give you a chance to wish your mom um, happy Mother's Day. 
All right, so you've been listening to the Hamptons from Jeremiah, Kentucky, and they will be back to sing more for you. We have a couple of song requests. Uh, one, Ruby uh, from Bourbon County wanted to hear uh, uh, the song. She wrote a letter, um, said she uh, she had a, had a CD of it, I think, and then also on the far side banks of Jordan. All right. Uh, well, just quickly, I'll share some of these uh, uh, urgent requests with you. You can start praying there while, while they're continuing to sing. Janice has called for Phyllis that's in desperate need of prayer. It does not say what. Uh, from Lee County, Virginia, uh, Howard uh, Dean family, uh, they, uh, they need prayer. That's from Lee County, Virginia. And also from Junction City, Arizona, we have one from uh, Jenny and uh, and mother uh, and mother. Uh, they uh, have one's taking chemo and and uh, the other one needs salvation. And then we have one from Darlene from Lee County, Florida. And then we got a Lee County, <laughs> Kentucky. So uh, there's uh, three. Lee County is here that is represented. Darlene from Lee County, Florida, health problems and needing uh, strength. This one is from a mother in Madison County uh, needing prayer for her family and some of the marriage problems and so forth there. From um, Warren County, Ohio, needs, uh, this family needs healing and to be restored. Norma from Laurel County just got out of the hospital and maybe had a heart attack. This one's from Montgomery County for Kelly Blankenship. This is from a church member called in for uh, Kelly Blankenship. He's a pastor of a church at, and he's at St. Clair Medical uh, Center in uh, Moorhead in a lot of pain. And so they want a speedy recovery so they can get their pastor back, which is good. You need to pay, pray for your pastor every week. Be sure and pray for him and help, ask the Lord to help him. Uh, Bath County, for a granddaughter that's in the Moorhead Hospital with a rare kidney disease and also uh, dialysis and complications. From uh, Madison, uh, Bertha has physical needs and her family some of them needs to be saved all right we have much more and we'll share those later but we're going to uh we're going to go back to the singing since like uh, uh, these folk come from about three four counties away and um, i know how to get there but i can't ever get back so uh, but anyway they're from jeremiah kentucky and the phone number is 606 633 2931, they do have different CDs, and also Mike has CDs, and they're from the Good News Gospel Church. So let's get as many songs as possible from them. I'd like to send this out to uh, my aunt, Agnes Mag Maggard, down in, uh, now I forgot where Carlisle. she lived, <laughs> Carlisle, Kentucky. So, when you get a little age on you, you start forgetting things. He's my all and all. He's my all and all. Every time I get in trouble on him, I call. He's my bread. shelter in the time of storm. He's my rock in a weary land, and this old world can do me no harm. When I'm way down in the valley, my Savior takes me by the hand. And he leads me up on top of a mountain. He lets 
may view his promised land. He's my all and all. He's my all and all. Every time I get in trouble on him I call. Some sweet day I'm going to travel to that happy home on high Where I've been washed in the blood of Jesus And I am ready to die But I hate to go and leave my children In this awful world of sin if they don't let turn to Jesus, we could all meet again. He's my all and all. He's my That's so true. Sometimes that's the only time people call upon Jesus is when they're in trouble and needing a special touch from him. They use him like a crutch. They uh, depend on him when they want him, and then the rest of the time, if they're not in trouble, they kind of lay him to the side. This song's entitled Letter to Mama, and I hope you enjoy it, Ruby. A lot of you have called us and told us you do enjoy it. And I lost my mother in 1996, and you always think about your mother. I'll still think sometimes, well, I need to tell Mommy this. She's not there. I can't tell her right now. Go ahead. Going to write two letters to the heavens blue, one to God and one to you. And I'm going to thank him for being so nice to you. He was holding to your hand, showing you round in the promised land. I saw you with God last night. Dear God, it's been so sad and lonely since Mommy and Daddy passed away. So I'd like to write a letter to my mama. Now I know that she can't hear me, but Lord, you can. So would you give her this letter? Mama, last night I had the prettiest dream, and it was so real. You were holding me so very close, and you looked so pretty, Mama. Everything is about the same here since you and Daddy passed away. All of us kids are okay. We don't go back home much anymore. But we try to meet there at least once a year to visit the old home place and to bring some flowers for you and Daddy. Now, I remember when I was a little girl, Mama, my brother would pick up his old guitar and you'd look at him and say, play me a song, son. Well, he'd look at you and ask, what do you want to hear, Mama? And you'd say, play in heaven where we'll never grow old. And I remember when we used to come back home and you and Daddy would be standing on the front porch. Well, that smile on Daddy's face, I could see it a mile away. And there you would be, Mama, with your arms open wide. You'd smile and say, God bless my children. There was an old preacher once who told me, Mama, 
that if I ever wanted to see you again, I'd better get on my knees and start praying. Well, Mama, I got good news for you. God saved my soul. So one day, I'm coming home to you and Daddy. And Mama, if ever there was diamonds, gold, and silver on this old earth, to me, you're more precious than all of them put together. Well, I have to close now, Mama, but I want to say that someday we'll walk those golden streets of heaven hand in hand. Good night, Mama. I love you. Gonna write two letters to the heavens blue, one to God and one to you. I'm gonna thank him for being so nice to you. He was holding to your hand, showing you round in the promised land. I saw you with God last night. I'll add one thing to that. My mother had Alzheimer's, and the last several years of her life, I became the mother and she became the child because she couldn't remember how to do things. And that's what a mother does. She takes care of her children. So that's what I did for my mama the last several years. And she did get to the point where she didn't know any of us. But you know, that's life. We none of us know what tomorrow holds for us. So if you're not ready to make that trip to heaven, I'd ask you tonight to please do like the little song said, get on your knees and invite God, invite Jesus into your heart. Because he's not going to force his way in. You have to ask him to come into your life and save you, clean you up from all the sins that you've done, and he will, but you have to be sincere in asking him. Richard? Like the first song we sung tonight said, uh, let me point you to the lamb that was slain for you and me. That's what we're still trying to do, to point people to Jesus. We can't save a soul. I wish we could, but we wouldn't know whether he's ready or not. Only God knows that because he looks on the heart and not on the outward appearance. I'm going to sing Far Side Banks of Jordan for whoever requested he it. An old song, been singing it a long time, and it's a pretty song, too. I believe my steps are growing weary today. Still, I've got a journey on my mind. Lord of this old world, I cease to make me want to stay. And my one regret is leaving you behind. If it proves to be God's will that I am first to go. Somehow I have a feeling it will be When it comes your time to travel Likewise don't you feel lost For I will be the first one that you see And I'll be waiting on the far side banks of Jordan I'll be waiting right in your name in the sand and when I see you coming, I will rise up with a shout and go running through the shallow waters, reaching for your hand. Through this life we've labored hard to earn our meager fare. It's brought us trembling hands and failing eyes. I'll just rest here on the shore and turn my eyes away Until you come then we'll see paradise And I'll be waiting on the far side banks of Jordan I'll be waiting right in your name in the sand And when I see you coming I will rise up with a shout And go running be waiting on the far side banks of Jordan. I'll be waiting right in your name in the sand. And when I see you
gonna tell them what you got because I might pick the wrong one. This is for Joyce's brother. What's his name? Jimmy. Jimmy. Two colts lay before me, an old and a new. I could have either, so what must I do? One coat was ugly and terribly torn. The other, a new one that had never been worn. Yes, I'll tell you the best thing I ever did do. I laid off that old coat and I put it on a new. The old coat was earthly and not fit to wear. I thought of it often and I shed many a tear when there was a new one presented to view. I let off that old coat and I put on a new. Yes, I'll tell you the best thing I ever did do. I let off that old coat and I put on a new. The old coat was earthly and made of the ground. We all bear its image this whole world around. The next was my Savior from heaven so fair. He gave me this new coat you now see me wear. Yes, I'll tell you the best thing I ever did do. I let off that old coat and I put on a new. Yes, I'll tell you the best thing you ever could do is lay off that old coat and put on a new. Amen. This one's in B flat. There is a place I go to rest at the feet of God. There's a place where I am blessed at the feet of God. the feet of God. 
at the feet of God. You know, it's uh, God is so good to us. We don't deserve the many blessing that he gives us. But, you know, that's just how much he loves us. If we'll be faithful and trust in him and walk with him, then he will supply our every need. And, you know, as we look back through our life, uh, we'll not see a time where he ever failed us. Sometimes we wonder where he's at, but we'll, we'll see that he has never failed us in, in all of our life. Here's a song called A Dusty Pair of Sandals. Heading south. <laughs> you know, I heard a song the other day, and people say, I, I can't do nothing for Jesus. What little I do ain't worth nothing. And the song says, well, somebody had to make the sandals that he wore. I thought that was good, you know. You wouldn't thought that would be much, but somebody had to do it. Just like everything that goes on in your church, somebody's got to do it. So you might as well take a hold and do your best for the good Lord. Just outside of Lazarus' tomb, Lazarus' sister filled with gloom, crying sore and wondering what it's all about. But she doesn't know God's plan. For just north of Bethlehem, there's a dusty pair of sandals hidden south. Don't give up, don't give up. Don't let trials and tribulations make you down. When great troubles overtake you, don't give in and don't give out. There's a dusty pair of sandals. If your life is filled with sorrow And you're wondering about tomorrow And your valley's dark and deep with no way out Jesus never will forsake you So raise up your hands and shout There's a dusty pair of sandals inside don't give up, don't give up. Don't let trials and tribulations make you down. When great troubles overtake you, don't give in and don't give out. There's a dusty pair of sandals inside. When great troubles overtake you, don't give in and don't give out. For there's a dusty pair of sandals inside. Okay. This one's entitled A Little at a Time. It'll make me get work. So uh, I guess Richard gets to work tonight. Are you ready? Like I said, somebody's got to do it. <laughs> Might as well be me. Yeah. <laughs> As I said the other day, you know, we rush through life, take, try to take in too much. Sometimes we really forget how to live because we're so rushed about trying to make a living a lot of times. Um, but when we get to heaven, we won't have to be in, in a hurry. We'll take all the time we need. From the moment that I get up till the time I go to bed, the Lord just keeps searching for a way to get ahead. I'm on a narrow highway, and Lord, I'm doing fine as I make my way towards heaven. A little at a time, a little at a time. There's workers needing sunshine, and farmers needing rain. There's fields in need of planting, cause the cattle need the grain. I need a little push, Lord. I'm getting way behind. But, Lord, I'm going to catch up a little at a time. A little at a time. I ain't got much down here, Lord, but I do the best I can. And when I get to heaven, I will be a wealthy. I'll be living in a mansion And I won't owe a dime I'm laying up my treasures there A little at a time A little at a time A little at a time Down in 
Times are getting harder. Prices are going up. Everything I do, Lord, don't seem to be enough. But when I get to heaven, with all my cares behind, I'm going to take it in, Lord, a little at a time. You've got one laid out there. Um, Far away as a land. Is that what you're going to do? Mm-hmm. That's the way heaven's supposed to be, Annie. That's the way we think it is sometimes, Sister Margaret. So far away, yet it's just accepting that choice. Far away is a land where there'll be no more heartache. All her pain will be gone over there. And with the Lord, I'll be living upon the streets of glory. Far away from this old troublesome world. Well, I have tasted the teardrops. That fell on my pillow, and I have tasted the goodness of the Lord, and how I long for that day when He calls me to meet Him far away from this old troublesome world. Far away is a land where there'll be no more heartaches. All her pain will be gone over there. And with the Lord, I'll be living upon the streets of glory. Far away from this old troublesome world I have stood by the bedside of my dear loved ones I have heard them groans from the burdens they carry and say It won't be long Till Jesus comes and takes me Far away from this old troublesome world Far away is a land Where there'll be no more heartaches All our pain will be gone over there And with the Lord, I'll be living upon the streets of glory, far away from this old troublesome world. Okay, this one's We Shall Stand. There are rumors going round That the Christians have let down And it seems that they no longer can agree We must all hold fast To the future, not the past Then united all together We shall stand We shall stand victorious to win We shall stand triumphant over sin. There's never been a battle fought too hard that wasn't conquered by our God. And as long as we're together, we shall stand. We 
Well, they're saying the church is wrong, yet it's still standing strong. It was built to last down through eternity. We just need to understand we need a revival in this land. Then united all together we shall stand. We shall stand victorious to win. We shall stand triumphant over sin. There's never been a battle fought too hard that wasn't conquered by our God. And as long as we're together, we shall stand. And as long as we're together, we shall stand. All right, thank you so much. Uh, the Hampton family from Jeremiah, Kentucky, we know you have enjoyed them. And uh, they will, if they'll make their way on over here, well, we'll... Uh, be agreeing in prayer for uh, uh, for the ones that have called in, and uh, just be just believing that uh, the service is not over because the work's not all done yet. You know, we we ta uh, we have a um, a different uh, a burden, a different uh, group every night that uh, uh, needs uh, needs prayer. Uh, Richard, we'll give you, since you have seniority there, we'll give you, we'll see. Not that I have any seniority over anybody, but this is always the best part about every, the work of the Lord. Uh, we got one here, Brenda from Morgan County. She got saved tonight. And Debbie from Letcher, uh, she got saved tonight. I need your joy back. Well, now, God will sure give it to you. The Bible says we can draw with joy out of the wells of salvation. We just need to go to him and draw out of it. It's there if we want it. We just can't let the world get us down. That, that is so true. And you know, uh, also many times, uh, we know that God forgives us. First John 1, 9 says that uh, if we confess our sins to him, he is faithful and just to forgive us of all of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. That means every bit of meanness that you've gotten into, he will cleanse you of it Amen. and he will set you free. But you know, you have to see yourself in that new light because he'll give you grace to become a child of his. And so uh, many times uh, we have a, a trouble accepting God's forgiveness because we don't forgive ourselves. Right. And so... Uh, trying to do something that God doesn't do. He forgives and forgets. And so uh, so we need to do the same. All right, Joyce, you have some. Yes, I do. Laureen called for a son, has sugar, and he didn't have a stroke like the doctors thought. And mm -hmm. they are saying, thanks for praying last night. Oh, okay. Prayer does work. Yes, it does. A lady has called in for a friend from Laurel County that has uh, lung cancer. Lois has called in. She had a song request, but she also says her brother passed away in January and they all need prayer. Ruby needs prayer in Lexington. Emmanuel from Letcher County needs prayer. Uh, Charles called in for Teresa from Fayette County needing prayer. And Brenda called in for prayer for her and her family from Morgan County, and uh, that's all I have. Okay, <clears throat> a few more here. Uh, Bertha says she's 80 years of age and having a spiritual battle. Well, you know, this is what we'll have till, till uh, we go, uh, till we leave this world and get into heaven. We're going to have a spiritual battle because the devil doesn't want you to go to heaven, Amen. and he will fight you. Richard would probably preach us a sermon on that, couldn't he? <laughs> All right, here's a mom that said her baby had been taken away from, from her and she hadn't, had not seen the baby in a year and she wants to go to church, but uh, she doesn't have a way. <clears throat> All right, uh, Joyce, I think those, those are readable. Okay. From, okay, go ahead. Okay. 
Donna from Johnson County has had two surgeries. Uh, digestive system is shutting down. Needs prayer to be a stronger Christian and withstand the devil's obstacles. Well, now the devil it, it will actually put those obstacles out there. But trust the Lord and, and give it all to him. Let him lead you and guide you. Uh, this was a strong song request for Stroll Over Heaven. I think one of us is going to have to learn that one. And uh, Tracy has called in for herself. She's got a ble from Clark County. She got a blessing from God. Mm -hmm. So that's wonderful. Absolutely. She got money for the bills and keep praying for her and her family. So that is a, right. that's a blessing indeed. Yes, yes, yes. And he's promised to. Yes. All right. Um, someone from Whitley County said she got a blessing from the singers tonight. And her children are all uh, fighting and they need, need prayer. Well... You know, that'd be, that'd be really strange if that was the only family having that. <laughs> but, true. you know, hey, kids are going to fight. So, uh, so we just need to, need to pray. I mean, they, there's a lot of, you know, in raising a family, there's a, there's a lot of different personalities. And, you know, each person is going to say how they feel about things. And, you know, anytime there's two people in the house, there's two sets of opinion doesn't mean one's more right than the other one necessarily, but everybody wants to think theirs is the That's right true. way. Mary has called for Hubert. He's in Lake Cumberland Hospital with a stroke, severe stroke, and cannot move. Oh, that'd be terrible. Buckhorn uh, Polly has called. Uh, Patty has called from uh, Powell County and from Bourbon County. Tina, what do you have, Richard? Well, I've got one here. I don't say where it's from, but... Uh, Clarence Roberts and family, they need their children and grandchildren. Children need a healing and need salvation. Something we all all needed at one time was salvation. Yes. Uh, we all wandered in sins and all, all got in trouble with it. Eddie and Jennifer, they need, or uh, called in by the mother from Madison, had an unspoken request. Doug and Carlin from Madison, family matters unspoken. Jamie and Rod and Marshall, uh, Mestel need to help, they've got health problems. Grandmother from Madison called in with an unspoken request. Uh, from Morgan County, grandson uh, worries her and children and grandchildren uh, all need prayer and salvation. Uh, from Hurley, Virginia, says pray for Sue Christian and Justice family. And we're getting way out there tonight over in, in Virginia. From uh, Somerset, Kentucky, uh, Joanne needs prayer tonight. Okay. Mike, you want to come up and join us? He can grab one of those mics over there and we'll uh, uh, let... Um, you can uh, pull up the piano bench if you want to or... <laughs> anyway, all right, okay. <laughs> These folk work together, they pray together, they sing together, and that's the way it should be. And so they have the request, <coughs> and they're going to pray. And we pick at one another like brothers and sisters, <laughs> really, or two. <laughs> our Heavenly Father, we've come to you tonight with these requests in our hands here. You know the need of each and every one of them. And we know that you're able to handle them, and we bring them to you tonight, laying upon the throne for you, and just ask you to move upon them. And Lord, we pray, thank you for the two salvation reports tonight. May you strengthen them and help them to make it through the assault that Satan will come at them with. And Lord, may they find them a good Bible-believing church and go to it and be part of the uh, family of God. And Lord, we know we can do nothing within ourselves, but through you all things are possible. So tonight, we lay these in your hands, ask you to move up on them, touch them as only you can, continue your loving care of this station, keep the gospel going forth from the mountain here, and watch over everybody through the storms that uh, have happened, Lord, and there may be more on the way we don't know, but we know who's in control of the wind and the weather. So, Lord, we place it all in your hands tonight. In Jesus' name we pray, and amen. 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 All right, Mike, you, you like a couple of minutes? <laughs> we'll give you a couple. <laughs> <laughs> he may be long-winded. No. <laughs> They call me old regular sometimes, but that, that's fine. <laughs> I'm just a child of God, sinner saved by grace. And it's so good to come down to this station because it reaches so many people. Yes. People that's not able to get out and go. Mm -hmm. uh, elderly people, young people, 
Even people that wouldn't go to a church house mm -hmm. will watch this program. Yeah. They get a blessing from it because it's of God. Yes. Everything down here, everything that they do is a light for him. It's nothing about themselves, but it's about him. Yes. And I, I've got so many family members that uh, are sick and afflicted. Uh, God knows who they are, and he can bring them through. All you got to do is just ask him and believe in what he, what he can do and what he will do. Amen. Again, it, it's, it's been a great pleasure each time I get to come down here. Traveling with Pop and Mom. <laughs> <laughs> They're good we people. We are all family. That, that's, that's what we All are. right. That's great. Well, uh, appreciate that and your singing. Uh, you know, we've heard from Florida and from uh, Arizona and uh, Virginia and all over Kentucky and so forth. And uh, so there's a lot of folk. And, you know, okay, uh, Since I got seniority, do I get to yeah. read this again? Yes, you do. <laughs> Joyce from uh, Monticello, Kentucky, got saved tonight. Oh, Amen. God bless so you. So that's three. That's three tonight. Amen. Yes. That's what it's all about. That's what yes. makes the journey worthwhile. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And uh, it mo uh, the gospel that was in the songs, you know, that speaks to the heart. Amen. Hearts of people. M music has a special place. Yes, it does. In, uh, and that's why the Lord gave music. And you know, when you think about the battles, when they sent the, the music people out first, <laughs> um, so that uh, tells you how important it was. All right, looks like our time has come and gone, but once again, we thank uh, Richard and Joyce and Mike for all of them coming and doing such a good job. And, and we're out of time. So from all of us here, good night and God bless you. Amen. WLJC programs, including the live WLJC chapel service, are brought to you through your contributions of support to Hour of Harvest Incorporated. All contributions made to WLJC are eligible for income tax deductions. Thanks to all who support us. Without you, our programming would not be possible. If you would like to join our mailing list to receive our free monthly newsletter to keep you informed of what's happening at WLJC, along with our monthly guest list, Give us a call at 606-464-3600 or write to us, WLJC, P.O. Box Y, Beattyville, Kentucky, 41311. Or if you would like to join our email list, log on to www.wljc.com and sign up today. It's so easy and it's free. sufferings untold each one longing for Jesus sparing heart silent cry empty of pride and self now